In this video, we're going to show you how to extract data from an Excel spreadsheet and use the data table in your flow. To begin with, we'll bring in the Excel action to launch an Excel spreadsheet. And you'll see you'll have some parameters to enter. You have the option to start with a blank document, but in this case, we know that we have one that we want to use. So I'll click on and open the following document. Then you have a few more options. You could point to it by clicking on the page and navigating through the file explorer to find that document, or you could enter a variable value if one existed. And that might be useful, particularly in cases where you're going to be sharing this process with a colleague or a friend, and you have some source files that will be stashed in you know, your desktop or documents folder. And then depending on what your desktop path is, if you hard code it here and it changes when you distribute it to somebody else, then you'll have an error in your process. So what I'm going to do is just click save here and show you how to use get special folder and set a variable to overcome this issue. So I'll add get special folder into our flow. And by default, it's pointing to the parameter for desktop. And as you can see here, it's created my desktop path. And I'll just rename this variable to desktop since that is what makes sense to me. Click on save. And now what we want to do is point to this document on our, de on our desktop. So I'll use the set variable value. And I'll just put that here. And what I'm going to do is point to our desktop path, add that. And then we want to open the file called Contoso demo or whatever file it might be that you're working with and click on save. And this will be our file variable. We'll reopen the launch Excel action, point to the file value that we created. And we'll check this off so that the actual Excel instance is visible to us when we run it. And I'll click on save here. So you might want to test this out when you're trying it just to make sure that you're pointing to the right source file. And then what we're going to do is once the application launches the Excel sheet, we are going to take a look at this Excel sheet and we will isolate all the data that's underneath the headers. So to do that, what we're going to do is go back into our Excel actions, or in this case, I know what it's called. So we want to get first free column and row. So what this does is once you open a sheet, it'll give you the, the numerical value for the first free column and the first free row. So in this case, it's going to launch this and it's going to say that our first free column is F or index value six. And our first free row is row number six as well. So we'll give that a second run. So I can show you what that looks like over here. And as you can see, we have first free column is six and the first free row is six. Now we will read from Excel, I'll bring this action into our flow, set this retrieve parameter to value from a range of cells. We wanna start at column A or one and start at row one. And we want to end at column six minus one which is five because that would be representative of E. And then we also want to end at this row, which is five, so that this is what we extract. And then this is our header and not part of the data set. So to do that, we will end at column first free column, which is value six, and then subtract one from that to make it five. And then do the same for the first free row. And since we have headers in our Excel data sheet, we want to check off this to make sure that the first line of the range contains column names, and then we're storing it into a data table value called Excel data. Click on save. And just to show you how that looks before we get into the next example, I will drop a message box here and just have it display our Excel data. click save, run through it. And in the next examples, we'll show you how to iterate for each row and isolate values 
so that you can pass them into other applications of your choice or do whatever you wish to do with that data. Thank you.